Hello, my friends. My name is Kathy Weaver, and I am a fan of the incredible Delinda Lane and the fun, fearless female global community of Christian women, of which you are probably a part. When someone invites you to an event, where is the first place you go to see if you can attend? I'm thinking the calendar. The second thing you do is find out what day. And the third thing you do is find out what time, right? Calendar, calendar, calendar. What did we ever do without calendar? Now, in the day, as they say, or in the olden days, as I usually say, there was a ginormous desk calendar. And I wrote all of my appointments down on my desk calendar. When my kids were at home, we had calendars, usually on the fridge, for everyone's events that were coming up so we'd know where to be, what time, what kid, what school, everything. But isn't it incredible what calendar and time has done for so many of us? Much of the time in a good way. Where would we be without our calendar? 365 days in a year. 12 months in a year, 52 weeks in a year, seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day. Then 1,440 minutes in a day, 86,400 seconds in a day, based on 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. Why do we care about all that? Everything we do is timed. You set a timer on the oven, so I've been told. Ah. You set a timer on the microwave, if you use that kind of contraption. You definitely better set your timer on your car as far as um, your uh, speedometer, right? All of a sudden you've got your GPS going. You've got your cruise control set. And the next thing you know, red lights in the back, right? Uh -uh. Everything is set on timers and strategic. So I just wanted to share today, are you wasting time? All of a sudden you get on whatever app you're doing. And the next thing you know, 30 minutes has already gone by. Oh my gosh, I didn't get to something today. I don't know if you're a list person. Are you a list person? If you have a list, do you set that up by timer, by schedule, by calendar? Where am I supposed to be in five minutes? Oh my gosh. Where was I yesterday? That's usually a bigger question for me. Oh my gosh. Do I have time to do whatever it is I said yes to? Please consider and I was thinking about this, not only with the weather changing in Kansas City, don't get me started. But I was thinking about this with the hol holidays actually coming up. Halloween, certainly, if that's your thing. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever your thing is as far as winter type holidays. And then, of course, the first thing people say is, oh, my gosh, it is such a busy time. Well, if it's a busy time, can you change that? What are you going to do with 86,400 seconds? Tick, 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 tick. There they go. Are they wasted? Did you breathe today? Did you pray today? Did you take time to just work on you today? What have you accomplished if time is flying? Now, of course, all of us know, how did we get to be in fourth quarter of 2022 already? Time has flown, yes. But can you look back on this year already, the first three quarters, and see how much you've gotten accomplished, how much you've personally achieved? That's the coolest thing ever to look back and say, wow, I did that. That is awesome. What do you have to show for it? 
Many people get paid by the hour, which means they punch a time clock or fill out a time sheet. So if they get paid by the hour, hello, 60 minutes, did they work that entire time? Maybe they get paid by the job. Could they got have gotten, like, could they really have gotten the job done in less time than they did? Every single thing that we do is strategically based on time. So I was just thinking about this today. Hopefully you won't say busy in your life anymore. It's not like that's a surprise to any of us. Oh my gosh, I can't, I'm too busy. I don't think, and I really seriously mean it, I don't think I ever say that. I always say, let me check my calendar. And then of course I look at that and go, oh. but when I look at that calendar, I'm in control of it. I put on the calendar what I need to accomplish. And if it doesn't get done, that's on me. There's 24 hours in a day. And it's not just for people in Kansas City. There's 24 hours in a day, no matter where you are. So if one person over here gets so much accomplished and one person over here doesn't, what's the difference? There's 24 hours in a day for all of us. So let's consider not saying busy anymore. Oh, I'm too busy. I can't do that. I really, I actually don't think I've ever said that. I always say, let me check my calendar. Now, sometimes I've had to book people out two and three. Well, actually one person I had actually had to book out six weeks because of what they needed and what I could do uh, wasn't going to happen until the six week had passed mark, but it got done. I mean, that was great. It was a training session and, and the size they wanted and all that six weeks out, but we got it done. So I have said that before. And they assume I'm so busy. It's not a matter of busy. I dedicate the time someone needs to whatever the project is. So that really is strategic. And then I think in terms of how much time does that take? Maybe it depends on who's doing it. Think about that. If you had a job on an assembly line and this person excels and can get 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 things built, in this amount of time, and this person is still working on the first one, who do you want to promote in your company? So just because someone says time or wasting time, or I don't have time, or I'm too busy, hmm, those words are not good fits for me. I have time to do what I can do. And hopefully I have time to do what I want to do. They don't always overlap but I can definitely control my schedule and my calendar when I put everything down and I know how much time is allotted. Schedule, discipline, timing, all of those things. What are you going to do with your 86,400 seconds today? What have you already done with 43,000 of them because we're probably about halfway through this day. Please think about that. Hopefully you won't say I'm too busy. Let me check my calendar and we'll find a time that works for both of us. That's what I had for today. The words of wisdom Wednesday, I don't like to say I'm too busy. I like to say, Let's see what we can do to work that out. Hopefully that will help you as soon as you break down how many days in a year, month, week, day, hours, seconds, minutes, all that stuff. Kind of puts it all in perspective. So let's think about that. The next time you say, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Let's take a look at that calendar. All right, I will see you next week on Words of Wisdom Wednesday. And let's make sure to be all over the fun, fearless female global community of Christian women and participate in each and every one of the posts that Delinda puts out there for us. Bye for now, my friends.